All right, folks, today I'm outside and I'm putting together a cozy yard outdoor recliner. Uh, we got some uh, for my wife because uh, of her back issues and neck issues. Um, she wanted a recliner out here, so I got a couple of them. I already put one together today. It's right here behind us. Um, let me turn this around and show you the box and give you the part number and then we'll open the box and I'll show you the different uh, pieces. And then uh, the instructions weren't too great. So when I do start screwing the different parts together, I'm gonna you know, bring you in and show you uh, what to do and, and where to screw these in because there's actually a couple of little L clamps that uh, uh, aren't shown very well in the instructions, all right? So let's go. All right, so here's the box it showed up in. It's got some other information over here. 65.5 pound box. And looks like the model number is KZC213BL. So I'm gonna put the phone up on the tripod real quick and then start opening the box and showing you the different pieces. All right, here we go. All right, I've got my trusty cobalt. Let's open this thing up. came all the way from China. So you have a piece here in the center that I consider the base and the whole fold out thing that you lay your legs on. All the cushions are in the center as well. Here's the back. So you sit like this. It's like the, your back sits here on the cushion. There's a, it's like the right side where you, you know, put your arm and actual stand. The left side. Here is the uh, the brace that goes across the back of the chair. actually a piece in here that I thought was a part of the chair that it's not it's just a brace on the bottom of the box let me show it to you real quick all right if you look down here at the bottom of the box I thought I thought this was a piece that I was supposed to bring out and screw in somehow uh, to the chair but this is actually this a brace that sits on the bottom of the box. So it's not even used. So don't use that <laughs> or attempt to use it. Okay, here's the, the manual that comes with. Gives you a parts list. I have all the parts over here. <laughs> um, here are the screws that it comes with. It has uh, what they call a, a J, 
and an L. Both of these, the heads, take a four millimeter Allen wrench. So that's the L, here's the J, both take, and that's all I use to put the other one together. Four millimeter Allen wrench in my uh, drill and I'm good to go. And these are the little L-shaped brackets that are kind of awkward. Um, never used anything like that before and the way it's uh, posed to put them together in the installation package is kind of, it's not, you know, you put them right here and here and this is how they tell you to do it, but it's it's confusing until you get down and actually do it. it, it you know, you, you worry that you're not putting it in the proper way. So I'll show you guys how to do it. And so the first thing is to put the back onto the base. And I'll do that real quick here. Here's the back piece. Lay that down. Get the there's the base. Maybe better if I uh, put this back on the tripod. All right, it says to put two of the J screws into the back here and down here, both into the back side of the base. Okay, I'll do that real quick. So over this you need four J screws. All right, so this is how they are. Here's the backing, the base. The little foot things were down here. I already kind of put these J screws in there a little bit. Here's my four millimeters Allen wrench. It's kind of screwed in a little bit. Of course it came out, <laughs> came out of my screw. Let's see here, here's the other one. I'm not tightening them all the way. I'll go to the next side. All right, I'll flip this over. So the other side's on top. I still have my two J screws down here. I just drop one of them. <laughs> Isn't that special? All right, I'll get them started. And then grab my other one, get him started. There we go. I don't think I'll have to bring you guys all the way in on this. This is, now that you've uh, seen the other one. All right. Again, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'll come back after this and tighten everything up. Next is a fix armrest A. And they labeled these A and B. So A should be the right side. So I'll have to <laughs> flip this thing over again. But I'll bring you guys in because this one I have to use G, which is the L clamp, and screw L, which is the lo longer screw. First, I'll turn this over to get it ready. for this guy right here. So place this down and this piece right here, which is another same on the other side, goes where these two holes are. All right, I'm close in here. Uh, so here's part A and I've got it down on the ground. Facing outward part of the armrest should be on your left. The, the inward or the back of the armrest should be on your right. And then the back itself, this piece, 
should be back here. And here's the part that you have to line up. You have to line these holes with these holes here and here. And then what happens is this L clamp goes on top like this and the screw goes through. So let's do that. Let me get it back up here. I'm gonna try and film this, but I don't know. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Yes. So there we go, it's going in now. Use a screwdriver. Okay, it's in there nicely now. Make sure you can see it. Yeah. All right. And this is it. All right. So that's how those go in. Okay. All right, that was step two, side A. Now we're gonna put on side B. Just uh, same thing, similar fashion with the um, L, longer L screws and the G L shaped bracket. Again, I'm gonna do this just like I did side A. tightening this because I have the a crossbar that has to go on the back and I don't want I want there to be room to fit that crossbar in so that was step three I'm dropping screws again step four is the crossbar they call it part F they say part F here but it's part E. So, you know, these aren't perfect instructions, but you know, you get the gist of it. Okay, so crossbar fits in these two holes here, which are on the back of A and B. I'm gonna back you up a little bit. Hopefully you can see this, but this is not gonna go in easy. I think I'm going to have to unscrew. Yeah, I have to unscrew some of this stuff. Room. bar in hold on let's see here you see that so I had to loosen up this screw on what was that a or B and this screw to get this bar in bar E which is F on the guide <laughs> so and look it's kind of it's crazy how it's split apart like this Hopefully these screws go in. It looks like there's enough room for it to get some traction. Let me try this one now. This guy, no. Let me try this one up here. Okay, he's going in no problem. So these two are in. This one's in, but this one's being a booger so I might have to tap it mm. oh did you hear that click there we go now look at that <laughs> just needed some brute force no not not that way dude
All right. Now I'll secure these pretty tight. All of it, really. I'll tighten up all these, and then we'll, I think we're on to the cushions. All right, I've got all the screws in there. Now I'm gonna pick it up and then put the cushions on. What they have are um, some Velcro straps in the back here. So there's a couple of Velcro straps in the lower back part that keep this large cushion, these two, down. And then here's the other, there's a couple um, back up so this one hopefully you can see this yeah so this one goes under here but this lips over this guy but first you got to make sure these are back here so this kind of lips over this guy and these strap the velcro straps right here just to kind of keep this on. And then these strap on. Both of these go under here. Boom, boom. And they'll go strap under here, bam. Pretty simple. It's actually simple to put this together. It's just uh, the instructions weren't that good. And my, my trial and error was this guy over here. <laughs> but that's it. It's ready to go now. All you do is sit in it. <sighs> Take these off since we don't need those anymore. And just push back. Ah. And you're lounging in your recliner outside. When you want to get up, you just pull up and you're out. So thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate you guys um, watching my videos as a wasp flies around in here. I'm going to have to go get that guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please click like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Thanks. Bye. I uh, put one together earlier today. It's right there behind you. Behind you. <laughs>